What's up guys, it's your boy Cosy Cosmo here and I'm back at it again with another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to fix Origin that keeps crashing. I've recently had this problem where my Origin would just randomly crash at random times. Um, it doesn't matter what game I'm playing or even if I'm just logged in into Origin, Origin just keeps crashing and giving me problems and I found an easy solution to basically fix Origin and to get it back on track for Origin to work correctly on your system and just by you following these steps will help you i hope this helps you guys out if this did help you guys out leave a like leave a comment down below to make sure that i can know that you guys actually fixed it or it helped you guys out if it didn't help you guys out just leave a comment down below and i'll make sure that i can get back to you and maybe find a solution for you but make sure to subscribe to my channel for other videos that i'll be uploading about problems or applications that's not working correctly or anything like that and i will help you guys as much as i can but make sure to leave a like if this video helped you out i know it helped me out my origin kept crashing my games kept crashing i would be in mid game and my origin would just crash and these are just easy simple steps that you can take it's four steps that you can take and it will help you out and i know that this would help you and i'm very sure that this will help most of you guys out there because it helped me and there's a lot of solutions out there and youtube videos about how to fix origin and um, i checked some of them out and most of them didn't work for me and i found a solution on how to fix origin itself okay so the first step that we're going to need to do is close origin completely completely log out of origin and make sure that origin is closed so log out of origin and then the next step that you're going to do or the first step is press ctrl alt delete and go to task manager open up task manager make sure task manager is open scroll down keep scrolling down keep scrolling down and you'll see this thing called origin web helper service and then just end task just end the task and then close out and then make sure that origin is closed make sure that it's closed make sure that origin isn't open anymore and that you are completely logged out of origin okay so the second step that you're going to need to do is hold the windows button on your keyboard and press r to bring up the run tab and so the run tab can open or you can do this in another way by going to the start button or the search button here at the bottom and type in run and just open up the run tab and then what you're going to do is you're going to press shift 5 to bring up the percentage symbol and type in program data uh, program data down here and then after program data shift 5 again to bring up the percentage symbol so it looks like this and then just press enter okay so now this will take you to the program data folder itself now what you're going to need to do here is you're going to need to open up origins folder open up this folder make sure you're in origin you can see at the top that you're in origin and delete everything inside this folder except local content so just press control left control and unhighlight local content and delete everything inside here just say delete make it delete itself and then you should leave local content here make sure that you don't delete local content because that's your save games and that's the save stuff that you have for origin itself and you don't want to delete that all right so now you go out and just empty out your recycling bin make sure that you delete it completely and just say continue to it make sure that you deleted everything that was inside that folder except local content all right so now the next thing that you're going to need to do is step three so, okay, so you can hold down the Windows key and press R to bring up the run tab or like I said before you can just go to the search button at the bottom and type in run and press enter and then just make sure that this is cleared out. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you can press shift and 5 to bring up the same percentage symbol and type in app data. So app data, shift 5 to bring up the percentage symbol and just press enter. Alright, so now it's going to take you to a roaming folder. As you can see, we are inside a roaming folder inside app data. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to go inside this roaming folder, which you are currently in right now. And then what you're going to do is just delete the origin folder. So just, you can just, if you have a lot of stuff here, it's just um, click on anything and then press O to find everything, anything to do with O and find origin itself and then just delete origin. Make sure that you delete origin. Just double click here at the top, minimize this out or just minimize the, the task itself and then just delete. Make sure that you delete it. There we go, it's deleted. All right, and you just open this up again. Go to the same folder, which is roaming. Then go to app data and go to local. All right, so now when you get to local, all you need to do is you can just click anywhere and press O again and then find origin again. And then all you need to do is delete origins folder here as well. Just delete it. You can close this out and then just right click on your recycling bin empty it out say yes make sure that it's deleted 
and there you go so now the fourth step that you're going to need to take is just go to your start button go to your power and say restart now uh, one important thing that you need to know is you need to remember your credentials so you need to know your username for origin or your email for origin and your password because it's going to basically restart origin for you and it's basically going to be brand new for you to use so when you restart your pc so for instance if you now go here and you restarted your pc and your pc booted up again now you can open up origin or if you have um, origin open up on startup origin will open up on itself uh, when you start up your computer and you'll have origin over here so now when you open up origin and you make origin open up as you can see origin opens up itself if you have it on startup origin will automatically open by itself when you start your system up now you can see it's empty so now you type in your credentials your email or your id which is your name and your password and then just say sign in and there you go guys that's as simple as easiest steps that you can take for origins crashes or game crashes in general like any type of game on origin i know origin has a lot of problems they are trying to fix it as much as they can with updates and stuff like that but yeah this is my method i hope it helped you guys out make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video if this helped you out leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel thanks guys i appreciate it